This video walks you through adding a simulation load to an assembly. The assembly in this example already has materials defined, at least one component has been fixed, and all mates defining the assembly are set. Prior to adding a load, visualize the mate connections in the assembly with the simulation panel. Set the simulation method to control how mates and missing connections are determined. The method can be changed at any point in the simulation process, even after completion. The assembly toolbar has five load tools available, force, moment, bearing, pressure, and acceleration. Each load type is discussed in detail in future videos. Let's go through a basic force example so that we get an understanding of the basic simulation user interface and navigation. Select force from the assembly toolbar. The force load dialog appears. The load dialog is shared between all five load types. The load type drop-down menu allows you to switch to a different load type without exiting the dialog. Select a single instance in the assembly on which the load should be applied. Next, establish a load direction with an explicit or implicit mate connector. The load direction is aligned with the mate connector's z-axis. The direction for the push and pull of the load can be reversed along the z-axis by clicking reverse direction. Load direction is configurable for each simulation. Once a load direction is established, a solid line extends from the instance outward with a load direction arrow placed at the end of the line. Each load type has its own unique icon. Now that a load direction is established, set the magnitude of the load along any of the three axes. The magnitude units may vary and are set by the document's workspace units defined as force default unit or from your account preferences. With this document's force default unit set to Newton, the default value in this load is 1000 newtons along the z-axis. Change the magnitude to the desired amount for any of the axes. By default, the load is applied to the entire instance body. If the load should be applied to a select region, enable the load region option. This allows you to apply the load to a specific face or faces instead of the entire part. Click the green check mark to accept the load. When the icon is selected from the graphics area, the icon and loaded instance region turn orange. Right-click the load direction icon to open a context menu with options, such as edit the load, hide, suppress unsuppress, and delete load. Once a load is added to the assembly, it is listed under the load section of the assembly instance list, a simulation field is displayed above the instance list, and a simulation table is added in the simulation panel. The simulation field displays a drop-down list of all the available simulations and allows you to quickly change from one simulation to another. Run the simulation and review the results by checking Show Results. Running the simulation and reviewing the results are discussed in depth in the next video. The simulation panel on the right side of your assembly displays the simulation table above the simulation settings. The simulation table has a column for each simulation created. All loads created are listed in the table and can be enabled or disabled per simulation. This is discussed in depth in a future video. Modify the magnitude of loads from the table by double-clicking the cell, entering a value, and pressing Enter to accept the change. Modify the load direction by double-clicking the selection cell. The load dialog opens. Select a different mate connector or mate connector point and click the green checkmark to accept the dialog. The simulation results update in real time as modifications are made. Right click on the load in the instance list to edit, hide or show, suppress or delete the load. Deleting the load creates an empty simulation showing an error status for the simulation in both the simulation field and the simulation panel. To remove a simulation entirely, right click on the simulation table header in the simulation panel and select delete. If only one simulation existed prior to deletion, the load is also removed and there is no longer a simulation field above the instance list. This video introduced the simulation toolbar, creating a load, the simulation field, and the simulation table. The next video introduces running the simulation and reviewing the results.